Hey guys, Mark Fleming of markdfleming.com. Today I'm going to quickly show you how you can identify a phony Instagram influencer using socialblade.com. So when you go to socialblade.com, it will take you to this screen where you can search for really any YouTube, Facebook, Instagram account. Uh, today I'm going to look at Instagram, so I'm going to type in an account I found kind of interesting. Uh, so once you search for an account, it will take you to this landing page and it provides you a ton of metrics that you can uh, use, which are very helpful. But the ones that we're really going to want to consider are the time series data. When you scroll down, you'll see how these uh, profiles have changed over time. And with this particular account, what I found really funny is this big fat spike right here. So if you see this person, uh, this guy was only losing or gaining a several hundred you know, followers per month. And then in June of 2019, he gained 836,000, which is ridiculous. And if you're a company hiring this influencer who is a verified account with 600 and some thousand followers, this would be a major red flag for you. Um, other tactics that you can use is uh, considering this monthly following. Uh, if you've been on Instagram, you've surely noticed uh, the accounts that do the follow for unfollow method. You can identify this really quickly if you see you know, major jumps and decreases in this metric. Uh, the last time series data that you want to consider is the gained media and the frequency of posts for an account. Um, if you're hiring an influencer, you want to have your post front and center for as long as possible. And if this individual's, you know, posting multiple times per day, you're not going to get the same bang for your buck as you would for an individual that posts several times per month for say. So these are some uh, crucial pieces of data. One um, rate that people consider often is engagement rate. Uh, for this individual, he has a really low engagement rate. I would argue that this isn't the end-all be-all um, because this can be influenced by that follower size, by how often someone frequently posts. Rather with this, it's a consideration you should notice but really try to understand why it is the way it is. So a few considerations for you guys there. If you have any other questions, feel free to visit markdfleming.com for more uh, marketing tactics. Thanks. Bye.